Hello, my name is Richard Lampitt and I lead the Microplastics Research Group at the National Oceanography Centre. So we are at the Winchester Science Centre and we're here to a team of six of us to tell the public, and particularly the children, about the level of contamination of the oceans by plastics, how the stuff gets there, why, how long it lasts, what happens to it eventually, and what sort of harm it does to the marine environment. And most importantly, what we can do about it now to reduce this problem. So we've got various types of research that we carry out at uh, the NAC. Um, we're asking some very simple questions. And one of the most basic questions is how much material is in the ocean? So one of the ways we do this is by filtering large volumes of water in throughout the Atlantic, mainly working in the Atlantic, um, and measure, collect, the microplastics, these are the small particles that have mostly broken down from larger items of plastic, and we measure these uh, on a particular instrument which gives, tells us what sort of plastic it is, how big it is. So that's the, one of the most simplest sorts of research that we're doing at the moment. In addition to that, we're working in shallower waters in the Southern North Sea and in the Thames, where we're doing similar sorts of work, but also looking at where it is in the biological communities, what animals are taking this up, and then also other parts of the project are, are what harm it does when these animals uh, eat it. Plastics, plastic is an amazing material. It's got enormous uses for society, for our health, for our, our efficiency, for storage of food, transportation. So it's tremendously valuable material. But what we need to do is to understand uh, what is happening to this material and how we can handle uh, the material, particularly at the end of its life. That is one of the key issues which we are not addressing as a society at the moment and what we've got to find out is what is happening to this material how long it lasts and how long it uh, what happens to it when it has finally degraded into very small particles there's lots of things that the general public can do to minimize this problem and the very first thing is just to use less of it. We are so familiar with this situation where items that we buy from the shops are wrapped up in layers and layers of, of plastic which is quite unnecessary. So we need to use less of it, that's the first, first issue. The second way we can address this problem is to reuse it. So typically with our plastic bags, which used to be very common and thankfully less so, we reuse them. So that's the second bit. The third bit is to make sure that the industry provides us with plastics which are easy to recycle so that the material can be recycled into other products. And then as a final resort, we can uh, use it to produce energy or uh, or ultimately even to put it into to landfill tips. But that really is what we want to avoid doing as much as possible.